What's up, YouTube? T-Movies here. Now, I just finished up all episodes of Amazon's hit ser uh, new series, The Boys. Now, I admit, I never really, you know, read the uh, comics or anything. Like, I never really read the uh, Boys comics. So, I didn't really know a whole lot about The Boys. But then I kept seeing these trailers, the promotions of it. They, you know, pe they pretty much piqued my interest and got me really excited. Despite being an Amazon show, because I'm at outside of Marvel's Miss Mesa, I don't really care much for Amazon's other shows, to be honest with you. So I was a little skeptical if this show would be any good or not. But, I... But, you know, it was only an uh, eight episodes, and I was like, oh, cows, let's be true with it and see how good the show is. And holy cow, this show is awesome. The boys just rocks. I mean, it's pretty much about these, uh, these vigilantes who, uh, who call themselves the boys, who decide to, uh, take down corrupt superheroes, uh, who pretty much, like, abuse, um, who, like, end up abusing their powers and, and all that. And, if you, like, the people, uh, the characters of the boys, like, you got Carl Urban, who plays the character Billy Butcher, who's the leader of the boys, and... You know, he has, like, a disdain uh, for superheroes who, uh, who uses their influence to avoid uh, repercussions uh, and especially uh, avoids uh, Monopoly with uh, supers and all that. Uh, you got Jack Quaid, who also plays one of the lead. Uh, he ends up joining the boys after uh, one of his, uh, after his uh, girlfriend, um, Robin, as a, is accidentally killed by uh, one of the, um, by one of the heroes, uh, A-Train. And so, like, following um, Robin's death, uh, he is, like, joined by uh, the boys to uh, take down these, uh, you know, take down the uh, heroes. you got got uh, Laz Elzonzo, who plays uh, Mother's uh, Milk here, who's also a member of the boys. He's, like, very polite and a well-spoken and a well -spoken, uh, man of higher education and integrity. And, uh, he's also, like, um, in love with, uh, his girlfriend, uh, Monique, and he, of course, despises, uh, Frenchie, and, you know, he holds him, uh, very responsible for, like, what happened to, uh, to, uh, Mallory and all that. Uh, you also got, uh, Tomer, uh, Coppin as a character named, uh, Frenchie, who's also a member of the boys, and he has, like, skills with, uh, in manu manuscripts and, uh, ordinaries, uh, and fluorations and communications and all. Uh, you also got uh, Karen uh, Fukuhara uh, from Suicide Squad fame as a uh, Kamiko, and she's pretty much a brutal and mutant member of the boys. And you know she's she's brutal. Like she does some interesting kills in this. But then you got the Sevens who are who are pretty much the uh, heroes. Like, you got Anthony Starr as uh, the leader of the Seven, um, Homelander. Uh, you got uh, Aaron Morty, uh, who plays, like, any January slash Starlight, who's pretty much, like, the newest member of the Seven, and he has, and she has, also ends up uh, falling for uh, for a uh, wee Huji uh, Campbell. You know and you got uh, Dominique uh, uh, McGillot, who I thought was great in this. Uh, she plays the uh, Queen uh, Maeve, who's like a longtime member of the Seven, and she, like she's also suffering from burnout, and she's also a uh, Homelander's uh, ex-girlfriend and all. Uh, you also got a uh, Jesse T. Usher, who was just seen in uh, that reboot of Shaft. Uh, he plays um, the character of A-Train, who... This is a, uh, A-Train, that's the one who ends up killing uh, Hughie's uh, girlfriend. So he's kind of responsible for that. Uh, you also got... a. Uh, Chase Crawford, who's like a, uh, who plays a character named, uh, Kevin slash the Deep, who pretty much, uh, he's sort of like the Harvey Weinstein of superheroes, because there's like a scene where, uh, you know, Starlight, you know, wants really in on the superheroes, and he, of course, persuades her and tries to, uh, you know how, uh, Harvey Weinstein did to, uh, the girls to, uh, force them to, like, uh, like, if, um, the girls wants to, uh, be, you know, in their film, in his films and all that, he has to, they have to, uh, you know, sexual advances. That's pretty much what, uh, that's pretty much what, uh, the deep is. Like, he's a really big douche. Like, you know, uh, I think Aquaman will beat this guy's ass. Like, seriously, I'm not kidding. Aquaman will torture this guy. 
And, I mean, he's pretty much like um, Aquaman in very ways. You know, uh, he actually, you know, like, he, uh, you know, talks pretty well with uh, fishes. Uh, he has, like, gills on him. I mean, there's, like, a... There's also a weird scene where uh, him and this uh, girl you know, ends up getting on. And, uh... And she ends up pretty much figuring him uh, from the gill. That's literally... That was a literally weird uh, what the, at the moment. But uh, anyway, you also got, like, other people you got in this. Uh, you also got um, Elizabeth Shue as uh, the vice president in this. Uh, you also got Jennifer Esposito as the uh, deputy uh, dictator. Uh, Simon Pegg is in this as Hughie's uh, father. Uh, you, Haley Joe Osment popped up in once in uh, a couple of the episodes. And let me tell you something now. This show is brutal. <laughs> like, it is... I'm not gonna lie, it's a violent show, and when I mean violent, I mean it's violent. Like, there's lots of, it's pretty gory, um, does it hold back? I mean, it's, this show is more violent than Daredevil and Punisher mixed together. That's seriously uh, my interpretation of it. It's more violent than those shows. Like, I mean, yeah, Punisher and Daredevil was violent, but when they, like, uh, kill people, you didn't really see, uh, you know, people's, like, uh, you know, body parts pop out, you know, and that's pretty much what happens in this, like, when they kill them, you literally see the body parts flop, flapping around, like, there's seriously a scene where, uh, all right, this is gonna get a little, uh, a little provocative, so, sorry, but, um, there's only one scene in one of the episodes, this might be a little spoiler territory, so if, so if you guys don't want to hear any spoiler talk, just mute this, and, you know, but there's literally a scene where uh what where there's like uh, this guy um who who's pretty much like uh going down on one of the uh girls in this like yeah uh, he ends up you know going down on her and I I literally had no idea how this is even possible but when he was like uh, doing his business tour his head ended up exploding like I'm not like probably one of the best head explosions I've ever seen on screen. And you also saw, like, his brains around, and, yeah, I mean, that scene was pretty gruesome. And there's also a pretty cool bathroom scene, and that's, I mean, I told you, it's a very violent show. I mean, it's one of the most violent superhero shows I have ever seen. I mean, it's more provocative than, uh, than Doom Patrol. I mean, it's more, like I said, it's more violent than, uh, Punisher and Daredevil. I mean, this show don't hold back. Like, it's... Now we can see why they decided to give this to Amazon, to Amazon instead of uh, something like uh, a, instead of something like uh, AMC, which I think you could still get away with the stuff on something like AMC or or the Sci-Fi Network, but uh, still. And yeah, I really, you know, I really quite enjoy this show, and you know, I really like the cast of Bob. I thought they all play their characters really well, and you know, it's was produced by Evan Goldberg and Seth Rogen, who all both did a great job with this. So yeah, I really, I quite enjoy the show a lot, and if you guys haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. It's a really, it's a really a high quality show, and definitely give it a watch. But uh, anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me leave you guys. Uh, did you guys have a chance to check out The Boys? If so, what you thought of it? Did you like it? Did you not like it? And have you ever read the comics that it's based on? Drop comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This here is Team Movies, signing